resilience. As fair as the criticism has been towards Kirk Ferentz and his staff this season, the team is 6-4, and four, and winning helps you on the recruiting trail. No question about it, regardless of wide receiver involvement. Iowa lands a three-star from Tampa, a guy they absolutely needed for their 2023 class. We'll talk about the commitment of Jarriott Bowie in moments. But first, I want to talk about Ascent Nutrition and their Ascent Coffee. If you haven't ordered some of this stuff, it's great. It's mold and mycotoxin-free. It's being featured on some major networks, CNN, PBS, Fox Business. Uh, this stuff is taking the world by storm, and it is pure and clean. Will not harm your body with those mycotoxins and molds that your name brand coffees out there contain. Visit GoAscentNutrition.com and use the code Hawkeyes to receive 15% off your order. Also, Randy Engel, Under the Kitchen, his original Hawkeye authentic artwork. Visit Under the Kitchen on Facebook for more details. He's got prints of some current players and some future players in the works as well. So, as I mentioned, Iowa football landing a three-star recruit just, uh, well, actually less than a day removed from its big win. Jerry Bowie actually committed during our live postgame show on Saturday following Iowa's win. Now, keep in mind, Iowa has struggled to recruit at wide receiver. And I've had people say, well, Corey, they they nabbed Arlen Bruce. They nabbed Keegan Johnson. Okay. Who else? They have struggled recruiting wide receivers uh, since Kelton Copeland has been here. With the exception maybe being that first year, Amir Smith-Marset, really solid grab. Brandon Smith, diamond in the rough. But uh, you, you go past those two guys, It's been, they've been few and far between. Yes, Keegan Johnson and Arlen Bruce were good ads. But they have struggled for 23, and they've struggled for 24. They had one guy in 22. His name is J- Jacob Bostic. He has not seen the field extensively. I don't know if he's seen the field at all this year. Now, he may. He may end up being a, a guy that works into the uh, the lineup next year. Uh, Brody Breck could be a guy that uh, ends up being a really good pitcher and football player. But I digress. This was a needed commitment. Iowa had one 2023 wide receiver commit before yesterday, and that was Uh, Marion product Alex Moda who was on this show if you missed that interview with Iowa's other wide receiver commit certainly check it out it'll be uh, actually on this side I'll put uh, a little card up there so you can click on that interview and watch it but um, Iowa needed this second commit and I'm guessing they would like a third but Bowie a Jesuit high school uh, Tampa product uh, his dad played briefly in the NFL as a pro football player but a very brief stint with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers don't know that he ever saw the field. Interestingly enough, Jerry Bowie Jr., who just committed to Iowa, his dad, Jerry Bowie Sr., was actually a defensive end. Um, But again, it would make sense that he uh, was down in the Florida area. Obviously had Jerry at at a pretty young age because um, Jerry Bowie Sr. played at South Florida in the early to mid 2000s, actually closer to late, uh, like 2006, 2008, I believe. In that time frame. So Jarriott Jr. was born, I believe, when maybe his dad was 18 or 19 years old. Point being, uh, some people out there may uh, may feel like they're getting old seeing a a guy who, by the way, really good football player at South Florida. Now he has a son that's coming to Iowa next year. Jarriott's got some size. I mean, there's no question you can see why um, his dad or how his dad was a defensive end. Uh, Jarriott right now, according to 247 Sports, six foot three, 182 pounds. You watch him on tape. Um, he's a willing blocker. Obviously, that's going to appeal to Iowa. I don't want to call him the next Brandon Smith. But I look back at a, a guy like Jacob Hillier in 2015, and yes, Iowa's wide receiving core struggled in 15 and especially into 16 before Smith, Marset, and Smith came in 17. But a guy like Jacob Hillier in, in 15 was an integral part of that team so certainly not saying he's going to be an exclusive blocker at Iowa but he did show on tape you can see a willingness to block and he's got the size to be a pretty dominant blocker on the outside I mentioned his size and strength again just natural uh, gifts that he has that you can't teach that's a positive he's not the quickest guy I mean he's not Arlen Bruce he's not Keegan Johnson Um, he's not Smith Marset you know, I don't, I don't know what his numbers are. I know he he's run track in high school, but again, I, I don't know what his intangibles are from a speed standpoint. He's got, obviously got a longer stride because he's a taller guy, but he's not real quick, okay? Appears that he has good hands. He's a, obviously a receiver, so he's got to have good hands, right? I mean, at, at this level, we, we, we preface everything by acknowledging that, look, we're comparing high school highlights 
to uh, how does he translate to uh, the Big Ten Conference? So th- those are all big question marks. But the bottom line is Iowa needed this commitment. Um, they needed something to be able to tip their cap to, so to speak. And Iowa has not only struggled winning football games this year. Of course, they're six and four now. You got to give them credit for that. But as you and I both know, they've just struggled offensively all year. And you can talk about the Northwestern and Purdue games. Those teams, uh, Northwestern's defense is terrible. Purdue's secondary is really, really bad. And it doesn't take anything away from what Iowa did. But you see against a better front this week, Iowa struggling. So the fact that they were able to grab Bowie despite the struggles on offense, I don't believe we ended up with, what, around 150 yards total for the game. Um, The fact that they were able to land Bowie on this day, that is a positive sign. And look, right now, 247 Sports has got him as the 1,150th best player nationally in 23 the 157th best player at his position, and the 163rd best Floridan in the uh, 23 class. Who cares? I mean, at this point, Iowa needs guys. Bryson Val is another guy that they've been after. They just needed bodies. They needed bodies to fill this class. And honestly, of the list Iowa had, uh, uh, at least of offers to guys uh, still in that 23 class at wide receiver, Bowie was probably probably number one on the list of guys that they could reasonably get. I don't know what the future is with, with Val. It's been kind of quiet since he visited Iowa back in September, but I know he's visiting. I know he's at Tennessee the other day, so we'll wait and see, but this is all positive because it creates some level of momentum that hopefully Kelton Copeland can jump on. You got signing day in a month. I know people are worried about Caden Proctor. I'll talk about that maybe coming up, but um, I, I don't think it's time to, to push the panic button on that. Still a really good class, and the biggest need was wide receiver and tight end. When you looked at, I should say, three months ago, those are the two biggest needs. You got Zach Ortworth now at tight end. Now you get Jerry at Bowie to compliment Alex Moda. Not your number one target there, but a guy who's got uh, some gifts that you can't teach. He did have offers from a few other Power 5 schools, Boston College, Duke, Iowa State, um, West Virginia, and then a few a group of five schools um, as well. So Iowa could have done worse here. Congratulations to Jerry at Bowie. Kind of cool to see a guy who's got a, a pretty rich football history coming here. I mean, of course, Iowa's got another wide receiver on its roster that has a really rich college football history in Arlen Bruce uh, the fourth. Of course, his dad, uh, Arlen Bruce the third, excellent football player for the Gophers back in the day. So um, some rich history and I guess Keegan Johnson too, bring in the football history uh, as well. So congratulations to Jerry at Bowie and Iowa. Hawkeyes are six and four and the recruiting class set to be signed in just about a month.